Why, hello YouTube. Today we have an unboxing of one of the newer Mac Minis. My mom's old Mac Mini is this one. This is one of the Core Duo models, 1.83 gigahertz, 1 gig of RAM, 80 gig hard drive, and an Intel GMA950 is the graphics. This is one of the newer ones, which has the, uh, the unibody design. Which, of course, has a uh, a black back, which I like a lot better. It's got HDMI built in and mini display port. And an SD card slot, which is pretty cool, I have to say. And down there's the vent. It has NVIDIA graphics instead of Intel this time. And it has 802.11n, so it'll be pretty future-proof as far as wireless solutions are concerned. So I'm going <laughs> to attempt to uh, rip the plastic with my fingers as we get this unboxing underway. See if I can figure this out. Let me just put the phone down here. And, uh, ah, I see. <laughs> it slides out like a shell. And the first thing you see, a shiny apple. Go figure. <laughs> Best solution with one hand is to do this. Put the box off. Boom! Everything is out. Done. <laughs> Okay, so we get, of course, uh, the software CDs and the manual. We get a power cord, a uh, display port to DVI adapter, which is a problem because this monitor has a VGA cord on it. Oh, man. That could be a potential issue. Yeah, this monitor is not DVI. So, that's a problem. See, this is why on the old Mac Mini, they, I liked how they used DVI, so you could just use a converter to convert to VGA. On the newer Macs, they don't give you VGA out of the box. They give you a DVI from DisplayPort. This is actually HDMI to DVI. And you can't put a converter in this because the, the pins that are uh, a little bit above this line thing here are missing. So I actually have to go out and buy another converter just to get things to show up on the screen for this thing. Apple, always include VGA and DVI, period. You need VGA and DVI. People still use VGA monitors. That monitor is brand fucking new. <sighs> That's the main first complaint. They don't include enough anymore. So, all right. That's a little bit annoying, but... All right. Plastic off. Here we have a nice mag. This thing is very light, too. It's a very nice unibody design. I like this because it's just all one panel. And the nice thing about this is you can open the bottom. I can't do this with one hand. Ugh. That takes a lot of force to open that. And you can just take the bottom out. You have direct access to the RAM, and there's there's the uh, airport card right there, which is removable. And, uh, of course, there's the cooling fan, presumably over the, the uh, GPU and CPU. It uses Hynix RAM, and Hynix is crappy RAM. Nice Apple. Nice. It uses DDR3 RAM, though. It's got 2 gigs of 1 gigabyte PC3-8500. So, it's decent. I figure in the future I'm probably going to upgrade this RAM for my mom because Hynix RAM is balls. At least the hard drives in here are typically Hitachi, though. So, at least a friend of mine got one with a Hitachi drive in it. So, hopefully uh, this proves to be similar to that. That's nice, though, they give you a panel this time. I don't know how... One question is, where's the hard drive? How do you get to the hard drive from in here? That's the real question I have. 
It might be under there someplace. I really don't know. Uh, meh, whatever. So if the hard drive dies, you have to take it back to Apple or find some other way in there. So, it's going to take a firm hand to close that as well. But there you have it. That's the uh, the new Mac Mini. The power cord is a simple true prong cable. It uses two prongs rather than three. HDMI to DVI. And you can't put an adapter on the DVI port. That's just really annoying. That's the one thing that Apple has done wrong. Display port and the HDMI. Bullshit. What is wrong with just putting a DVI port on the back? That's the most compatible you can get. However, we'll go over the ports on the back. Power, Ethernet, Firewire 800, HDMI, Mini DisplayPort, and four USBs, SD card slot, and of course the I/O for uh, sound. And there's a vent right there, <laughs> which uh, that which apparently that fan goes to that we were looking at earlier. Either way, it's a slick machine. I just wish that they included an adapter for VGA. That would be extremely helpful. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's been an unboxing of a Mac Mini. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.